Hi there guys, welcome to my second Doctor Who DVD review of today and today, um, this time we shall be doing a review of the Sylvester McCoy story The Curse of Fenric uh, Sylvester McCoy is in fact my third favourite Doctor he is just, no, second favourite Doctor actually he is just amazing, I love all of his stories except for the ones that I haven't seen and I don't really like Time in the Rani. Maybe I should watch, rewatch that one again, see if my opinions will change. But I doubt they will. So, as usual, let's begin by taking a look at the artwork. For an original release, it's actually quite good. I quite like this. It's got like um, uh, Doctor Judson there. Um, got Sylvester McCoy, uh, Sophie Aldred. We've got some. Uh, I think they're like um, symbols of Fenric, something like that. I don't know. Uh, we've got the Hemophores, which I, I really, I really do like the Hemophores. I wish they'd come back um, for the fiftieth, but you know it's pretty unlikely that they will. Have, as we've got Zygons coming back, we've got Daleks. Don't know about Cybermen, but apparently they're coming back in the Christmas special. Uh, anyway, um, we've got some more. Uh, symbols of Fenric there, and we've got this sort of light, um, light, like yellowish light effect bursting out in the middle of the cover there. It's a two disc set, PG rated, uh, with a little picture of Sylvester McCoy, Sylvester McCoy years 1987 to 1989. It's PG rated, I think I just said that, but who cares? Um, so we've got side label there, Doctor Who The Curse of Fenric. It's got a bit of chess board coming out of it, which is quite vital in the story. Um, also, you've got some pictures, which are quite interesting as well. Um, so, Doctor Who, The Curse of Fenric, starring Sylvester McCoy by Ian Briggs. And here is the blurb. When the Doctor and Ace arrive at a secret military base during World War II, they discover that a... Cent that a that a centuries-old Viking curse is bringing terror to its inhabitants. As hideous vampires rise from the sea and Russian commandos begin to close in, they are confronted not only with a mystery from the distant past, but also a terrifying vision of mankind's future. And now we move on to the special features, which are absolutely brilliant, especially for a standard release. So on disc one, we've got The Curse of Fenric, uh, original four-part TV version, TV version, commentary by Sylvester McCoy, Sophie Aldred, and Nicholas Parsons. Music-only option allows the viewer to hear Marquez's score on an in, on an isolated music track. Production subtitles, photo gallery, Nebula ninety, which is the uh, cast and crew um, reunited at and nineteen ninety. Doctor Who convention, take two, the BBC Children's show looks behind the scenes of the story, uh, modelling the dead, how to make a hemoval mask, claws and effect, um, a look at the production, does that say Reese, or oh, I'm not sure what that says, uh, and visual effects tests, uh, clean the title sequences, uh, no it's a, it just says clean title sequences. 1987-1989 version, and on disc 2 we have The Curse of Fenric Special Edition, a brand new movie length version exclusive to the DVD, featuring extra footage, new CGI effects, and a remix soundtrack in Dolby 5.1 surround sound. That's quite a good feature there. And Shattering the Chains, author Ian Briggs talks about writing The Curse of Fenric, that's an outstanding feature that. Costume design and interview with Ken True. It's quite interesting as well. Uh, recruiting the ruins, which is behind the scenes of this new DVD version. So really, this DVD doesn't need a special edition at all. I don't think um, it really doesn't. And this story was originally broadcast on BBC One between twenty fifth of October to the fifteenth of November, nineteen eighty nine. And it's produced by John Nathan Turner, directed by Matthew ha Mallet, uh, Nicholas Mallet, sorry. Uh, incidental music composed by Mark Ayres. And it's PG again. So if I just show you the discs, 
and get them up. They're just the plain blank original release discs. Um, and we've got the second disc as well. And also we have the booklet to go alongside that. So my overall rating for this story would probably a nine and a half out of ten. It's a just a awesome story. It really is. It's got it's quite a dark story because I think this is season twenty five here. I think this is I, I, I it's either twenty five or twenty six because it's just this is this story is just wow. There's a there's fantastic performances throughout. I would probably have to give it to Sylvester McCoy because he is. Great act. Sophie Eldred is very good in it as well, but Sylvester McCoy just brilliant. Uh, the Hemo Balls are very good monsters, like I said before, and it's a shame they didn't come back. And a couple of the sea monsters, uh, the Hemo Balls were actually Sylvester's kids, so that's quite um, amusing to f discover that you know they were Sylvester was Sylvester's kids. <laughs> um, like when I first discovered that, I was really quite surprised by that. Because um, I, I just find that really quite cool. Uh, so that's pretty much it, really. Um, if you want to get this DVD, then go ahead, go and buy it because it truly is a gem. This DVD, I got this at Doctor Who Experience. Uh, really glad I did. It cost me about was it eight pounds, I think it was. I don't know, but yeah, what a story this is! It's just great. Special features, top notch. Top notch DVD and DVD rating. Well, it's a 10, isn't it? And the story is 9.5. So, thank you guys for watching my review. Slightly more cheerful than the other one because um, I was quite tired in the morning, but I'm uh, more lively now, so that's quite good. And uh, my next review DVD, or my next DVD review will be of Earthshock. So thank you guys for watching and I shall and I shall see you guys very soon. So take care and goodbye.